Hi everyone, I'm Narelle from Global Weddings and today joining me is Leah Nielsen. She's our newest member of the team and we've got a quick 10 minutes to get to know Leah a little bit better. Leah, being quite new to our team, can you tell us why you wanted to join the wedding industry and who were your main inspirations? I've always loved events, but when I finished school, I worked for a company called Food and Desire and I was doing, and I was working front of house and I was doing about two to three weddings a week and I just love seeing the joy that it brought to people. So I want to be a part of that journey. And also, well, one of my inspirations would have to be Narelle. <laughs> uh, I think I actually mentioned that to her on the day I met you. But um, I followed Global Weddings for a really long time on Instagram. And I just loved how elegant, beautiful their weddings were. And yeah, so you would definitely oh, be one of my inspirations. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. She wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. That's lovely. Um, can you tell us what you love about the job? Like you've been with us for just over a year now and um, it's a little bit of a baptism of fire when you come to work for us because it's full on from the minute you step in the door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you tell us what you love about the job? I think just, I love the planning process and then seeing it all come together is amazing. I love looking at all the photos, the videos. I just think it looks so beautiful. So yeah, the planning process and then seeing it come to life is definitely my favorite part. For awesome. sure. And you've been lucky enough to travel very extensively around the world with your family. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what your favourite destination is? My favourite destination would definitely have to be Santorini in Greece. I went there a couple of years ago with my mum and I loved everything from the culture, the food, the atmosphere, the blue crystal water. Like it was just amazing. So, and I'd love to do a wedding there one day, hopefully. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> Absolutely. You've been to Bali a few times now. Um, yep. Can you tell us your favourite restaurant in Bali? Narelle actually took us to a restaurant last year when we were there and it was called Mason and it was super cool, super modern and the food was amazing. The pita bread and hummus was definitely like <laughs> top notch. Yeah, it's quite, so a new, good. it's quite a new one in Canggu yeah. and um, it's very modern. Yeah. There's not a lot of big modern restaurants in Canggu at the moment and um, yeah, I love it too. The, it the broccoli and almond salad that they have oh, there so is sensational. <laughs> Well, okay, so then take us next to, you know how much we love cocktails. What's your favourite drink? <laughs> well, I'm not the biggest drinker, which I think everyone finds a bit surprising because I am 21, so you would think I would, you know, love a drink. But um, I love kombucha. <laughs> and I, right. yeah, kombucha's my, my thing. They can actually do alcoholic kombucha. Yes, yes, they can. So yeah, a kombucha, that's my favourite kind of drink. Fabulous. You love planning events. Um, you've done a lot of parties and things like that in, in your short little career that you've had. <laughs> yep. um, where does your inspiration come from for the events? Definitely Instagram. Every I follow so many from wedding planners to just event, like event um, Instagrams. I, yeah, basically Instagram is the world of events. You can you can find everything and anything. And I also love Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest all the time. Mm -hmm. Hayley, Narelle, they all know I get all my ideas from Pinterest. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. It's great having you in the office and when we're talking about styling someone's wedding, we're like, Leah, we need this, that and the other. So, And again, being the youngest member of our team, you're very tech savvy. Thank the Lord. <laughs> um, if you could only choose three apps for your phone, what would they be? Instagram, of course, and then I'm obsessed with TikTok at the moment. Like, I can't stop. I'm constantly scrolling. It's really bad, but anyway, I love it. I've even done a few dance routines myself. <laughs> Nero doesn't know that. But uh, yeah, I've done a few, and I just love it. And WhatsApp, so I can talk to all my friends and family overseas. Yeah, WhatsApp, definitely. I couldn't live without WhatsApp. And WhatsApp on our desktops is changed <laughs> our lives. How do you prefer to start your day? Um, I usually start my day at about 5.30 in the morning and I go straight to the gym and I just love that like post gym feeling I think especially because I'm sitting most of the day it just feels good to move my body so definitely going to the gym. We do sit a lot don't we? Yes. Emails, oh. emails, emails. <laughs> I think but I we told love you. It. We do love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember saying to you when you came it's 80% admin, 20% yeah. love and fluff. So Which I was kind of surprised about because yeah. I think... You know, you do see everything on Instagram and it all looks, oh, you just plan weddings and oh, it's just like, you know, this magical fairyland. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, but it's all, you know, worth it in the end. It is, it is. But it's just, it's a lot of admin. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, to be at the top of your game and we are, we've had a lot of years learning and it's just, you know, dotting your I's, crossing your T's and making sure that everything's done. Definitely. If you could have a superpower, what would you choose? I would love to have a photographic memory because... I go to uni and for my exams, it would make them a lot easier. 
What are you studying at uni? I'm doing event management, so it's perfect. But yeah, definitely, if I could just read over something, know it, and then go to my exam and do it, that would be amazing, and it would make my life so much easier. Fabulous. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today. It's been lovely getting to know you a little bit better. Thank you. Before we go, could you give the brides and grooms just one piece of advice? One piece of advice would be to trust us. I think like we've always got your best interests at heart and we will do everything and anything to make sure your day is the best it can be. So yeah, just to trust us. We've, we're looking out for you always. Great advice. Thanks, Leah. Thank you.